Hello everyone, my name is Marlin Stroop and I'm part of John Gamel's Estimation Search and Planning Group in the Oxford Robotics Institute at the University of Oxford. This video presents our ICRA paper on Adaptively Informed Trees, or AIT STAR for short. AIT STAR is an algorithm that uses adaptive heuristics for fast asymptotically optimal path planning. Let me put AIT STAR in context by showing you how state-of-the-art planning algorithms find collision-free paths on this illustrative toy problem. The following time-synchronized video shows RT star on the left, FMT star in the middle, and bit star on the right. RT star and bit star are anytime algorithms. They will stop as soon as they find an equal or better solution as the solution that will be found by this instance of FMT star, which is not an anytime algorithm and will run with a fixed number of 750 samples. Each state space boundary will turn green once the associated planner has found a sufficiently good solution. The blue lines represent the edges of the planner's search trees. These edges are fully evaluated by the planners, which includes checking them for collision. This collision detection is known to be a major computational bottleneck in sampling-based path planning. Notice that all planners spend a lot of their computational resources to evaluate edges that don't contribute to a solution. BitStar is able to mitigate this effect to some extent as it can use the Euclidean distance as the cost to go heuristic to order its search. But because this heuristic isn't problem specific, edges towards the lower half of the state space appear equally promising as edges towards the upper half. Let me add AIT star to this comparison. AIT star finds a sufficiently good solution in just 0.07 seconds. The next best planner is BitStar, which takes more than twice as long. FMT star takes 8, and RT star takes almost 16 times as long as AIT star to find a solution of similar quality on this problem. AIT star achieves this improved performance by using an asymmetric bidirectional search that simultaneously estimates and exploits an adaptive and problem-specific heuristic. The accuracy of this heuristic allows it to focus its computational effort on edges to contribute to a solution. Notice how relative to the other planners, AIT star only evaluates few edges that don't contribute to a solution. Before diving into the details of how AIT star estimates and exploits its adaptive heuristic, I want to provide a conceptual overview of the underlying ideas. You can already see a visualization of the inner workings of AIT star on the right, and a step-by-step -step explanation of AIT star will follow on the next slide. On a high level, AIT star views the planning problem as the two subproblems of approximation and search. It views the states it samples as an increasingly dense, edge-implicit, random geometric graph, which it uses to approximate the collision-free region of the state space. It searches this approximation with an asymmetric bidirectional search in which both searches continuously inform each other. AIT star builds on the realization that accurate heuristics increase the efficiency of informed search algorithms. Its asymmetric bidirectional search can simultaneously estimate and exploit an accurate, problem-specific heuristic, which can result in improved performance. Let me now walk you through a step-by-step -step illustration of AIT star. AIT star begins by creating an approximation of the state space, which it does by sampling a batch of states. In practice, we often use 100 samples per batch, but for the sake of keeping this illustration simple, only a handful of states are sampled here. AIT star views these states as a random geometric graph, as shown by the dotted edges, but it doesn't compute these edges until it needs them. The next step in AIT star is to compute an accurate cost-to-go heuristic that is admissible in the context of the current approximation. Let me provide some intuition on why this is beneficial. The Euclidean heuristic, shown with a dashed line, is not problem-specific and will lead AIT star to evaluate the highlighted edge first. But this edge leads to a dead end and will not be helpful in solving this problem. The edge that leads around the obstacle has a higher potential solution cost according to the Euclidean heuristic, as can be seen here. Instead of using this Euclidean heuristic, AIT star uses an LPA star search from the goal to the start to estimate more accurate cost-to-go heuristics for each sampled state. This reverse search is illustrated in light blue and does not perform collision detection. It is therefore computationally cheaper than the forward search, which is what makes this bidirectional search asymmetric. Once AIT star has estimated an admissible heuristic for all states connected to the start, it uses this updated heuristic to search for a path using the A star algorithm. 
This forward search fully evaluates etches, including checking them for collision. No collision was detected during the forward search, and AIT star has found the resolution optimal solution because heuristic is admissible in the context of this approximation. AIT star continues improving the solution it has just found by improving the approximation. The state in the bottom left corner can now be pruned, as the dashed red path is longer than the solution. To keep this illustration simple, I'm only going to add two lucky samples to the approximation when AIT star samples more states. Improving the approximation invalidates the admissibility of the heuristic, which is why the heuristic needs to be updated. Again, this is done using an LPA star reverse search without performing collision detection on the edges. Having updated the heuristic, AIT star can now use it in its forward search for a better collision free path. This time, the forward search detected a collision. Since this collision is in the reverse search tree, it indicates that the heuristic is flawed. Because the reverse search is computationally inexpensive, AIT star updates this heuristic before it continues to search for a path with the expensive forward search. This update can be done efficiently because LPA star is an incremental algorithm. Once the heuristic is updated, AIT star continues its search for a better collision free path. Because this time no collision was detected, AIT star has now again found the resolution optimal path on the improved approximation. This way, AIT star can run indefinitely and will almost surely converge towards the globally optimal solution. Let's now take a look at some statistical results. These plots show the performances of RT Connect in black, FMT star in yellow, RT star in red, bit star in blue, and AIT star in green on the wall gap problem we've seen on the previous slides. Each planner was run 100 times for 5 seconds. The top plot shows the percentage of successful runs over time for each planner. The bottom plot shows the median solution costs with 99% confidence intervals. The lines show the median costs over time, and the dots show the median costs and times of the initial solutions. RT Connect and FMT Star are not any time algorithms, and cannot improve the quality of their initial solution given more computation time. There are several lines and dots for FMT Star in these plots, because I've ran FMT star with several batch sizes, which must be specified in advance. You can see in these plots that AIT star finds both the initial solution and the optimal homotopy class on this problem faster than any other test planner. Let's take a look at some results for a more complex problem. These plots show the performances of the planners on an eight-dimensional problem with random hyperrectangles as obstacles. Again, each planner was run 100 times for five seconds. We can see on this problem that RT Connect is faster than AIT Star, but AIT Star is still the fastest of the tested asymptotically optimal planners. More results for different obstacle configurations and for a simulated NASA JPL rover can be found in the paper. Thank you for tuning into this presentation. I'm happy to announce that AIT Star is freely available as an open motion planning library implementation. You can find more information about the research we do at the Estimation Search and Planning Group and the Oxford Robotics Institute on the web pages listed on the slide. We also present another planning algorithm called Advanced BitStar at this year's ICRA. I hope you have a good day or a good night. Goodbye.